Okay, Gary's. This is uh, day number one, video number one, and uh, let's get out of the way. Uh, how do I open this guy? Uh, oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's slip this guy out, and uh, we got it. Center. 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 Shit, I, I can't say it right. Sir Manuel. Sir Man. Whatever this card is. Hey guys, this is uh this is cool kid here. Um yeah, what what you saw earlier is how the format of these videos will work. Where about, I don't know, right over there, which you can't see, is my bed. I'll record me opening each day. Um, <clears throat> over there, um, I'll probably have to fix that for tomorrow's test video. So how these things will go, and hopefully I'll get the hang of them eventually. And uh, here, I'll just be recording, you know, talking about info and stuff, and I don't know if you can exactly see what it says on your own screen. And, um, yeah, also hang, hang the these over here. I don't know how it's going to go. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, these slips for, um, uh, for the, uh, the, the. Uh, for these, uh, you know, the advent calendar cards, and this is the closest thing I find that's kind of Christmas related, uh, card sleeves. Y you'll know why later, because, uh, Reaper and, uh, White Blossoms do appear later. I don't know what that has to do with Christmas, but it appears later. But let's start with, uh, Cerem C Ceremonial Bell. Which, uh, if you notice by its artwork, oh, wait, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, yeah, if you want to know any of the other cards or videos that will be coming up, I recommend checking, I don't know, unboxing video, like, Diffie's, um, Advent Calendar unboxing video, ha hashtag, I swear I'm not an unboxing channel. Maybe one day I'll trend, but that day won't be. Ceremonious is Bell. Let's, if you look through it, it's a card design over there. Uh, it's obviously based off of a church bell. And church bells, we all know, you know, they're very, or even bells in general are very, you know, a Christmas thing. But let's go into its effect. Uh, both players must, must reveal their hands. And also, that's its effect, which, I mean, I guess that's kind of, this card will be useful if, I don't know, uh, you want your player to reveal your hand, because, unless if you're running, if you're now running an archetype-based deck, then <clears throat> that's kind of harder due to the fact that with a archetype-based deck, you kind of know what possibilities that they have in their hand or how they can use it while if you're running other than that it's a little harder it's not impossible but it's definitely way harder to you know figure out so one thing i think that's weird it's a spellcaster why why is it a spellcaster but yeah it's a spellcaster has no attack or defense but yeah, uh, really, other than that, and also I got the, this information on the screen. It, it's got a good search game. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll list three of them. There's Temple of the Kings, Sangan, and Transmodified. Those are uh, three cards, and yes, all this information's on my computer screen. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not a professional. And it has some use in a infer infer t for for whatever deck. 
Uh, let's see. It had some yeah, appearance in Zexel in episode 6 uh, during <clears throat> Flip Turner's backstory. Um, and also, interesting fact, this is this is basically the monster version of Respect Play, which is basically the same thing. And it has no difference. It's just it's just one's a trap form, one's a monster. One's a monster. And uh while looking, you know, some information up about, you know, this card and everything, I actually found interesting something kind of interesting. Someone made a deck. Someone thought, you know, what if we made a deck based around ceremonial spell? Uh, let me just read through this. With Minecraft, I thought this would be a good time to make a deck based around ceremonial spell. It basically thins out your opponent's hand, effectively limiting their options. And a huge downside, of course, is that your opponents also mind crush without fail with but we have three more options with DD Designer, which copy of Mind Crush instead of banishing the card that they discard. So, uh, let's see. Here's the deck they have. They have uh, three ceremonies, Bell, uh, Axe, Dragon Newt, uh, Effect Veiler, uh, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ugh, I forgot to mention the number of cards. Three, three ceremonial spells, two axe drag new, uh, two effect failure, two cyber dragon, two card effect, no, two card guards, uh, a chaos sorcerer, a black wing, a gale the world, uh, let's see, a spirit reaper, and a sangan for the monsters. <clears throat> and then we got uh, three uh, DD designers, three upstart goblins, one um, let's see, golden sarcophagus, uh, one pod duality, uh, dark hole, heavy storm, monster reborn, pod. Uh, I don't think that's what it's called. Then for the traps, we got Solomon Judgment, one Solomon Judgment, one Mirror Force. Two bottomless trap holes, one devastation, virus, um, two mind crush, three uh, compulsory evacuate device, and tornal tribute with uh, from the extra deck two number thirty nine, uh, two leviathan of the sea dragon, one terrace keeper of the genesis, number seventeen, uh, gen. Genosaur, Chamar Tech, Fortress Dragon, and uh, I'll, I'll list all this stuff in the description. Of, of course, of course, of course, and um, yeah, since you know this is obviously a certain spell is obviously based off of you know, uh, based off of the Christian church bell, which you know. Had many uses in the days. It was used for prayer, worship, and uh, I was just looking at this on Wikipedia. So it could be wrong. It could be wrong. It could be to exercise demons. Let's see. Uh, according to this, uh, let's see. In Christianity, ringings of church bells was traditionally believed to drive out demons and other clean spirits. You know, which I thought was interesting. But yeah, that's why uh, usually in Christmas you got all these... You, there's always bells, bells, bells. Which it too, from what I can understand, is, you know, Christmas is supposed to be a good time, you know, spending with your family and such. And bells are supposed to keep out, you know, all the evil spirits and demons and stuff. 
So, so this would bring uh, a point of happiness and stuff. And you know, speaking of bells, we got a shit ton just of Christmas songs with bells. Uh, let's see, what does Google say about this? We got Carol the Bells, I Heard the Bells, Christmas Bells, si Silver Bells, Ding Along Christmas Bells, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, uh, Ring Christmas Bells, oh wait, uh, lighting has changed. Yeah, fix that, don't worry. Uh, and yeah, ringing Christmas bells, and yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, there are definitely different type of bells. But uh, to get, in a sense, bells are a very nargifying use that has been used in Christianity. Christianity, and... I'm just looking through this website, I'll link it down, it's called Why Christmas uh, Traditions of Christmas Bells, uh, it's list, especially uh, churches, they have been associated with Christmas a long time ago. You know, I think I just realized this, uh, probably looks better for my image, if I uh, just pull out my phone and flush it, uh, pull out my phone and, you know. This Yep, 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 I knew I had been um yeah kinda of in and out to go fix this but yeah uh to get the last part out of the way which I thought was really interesting the song Jingle Bells uh, when it first came out in September of 1857, it was called uh, Horse on an Open Sleigh. And it was actually uh, meant as a Thanksgiving song, but due to all the snow and bells, uh, people just slowly accepted it as, of course, a, uh, of a, a Christmas song as we know now. And, uh, let's see. Of course, uh, let's see, yeah, uh, it was first recorded in 1889, and this one I actually found really interesting. It was the first, uh, song to be broadcast over space. Space, uh, let's see, yeah, it was in space on um, December of 1956. But yeah, but as you see, this is rudimentary, you know, um, just researching info. I did not even come close to even doing some big research for this. So yeah, I, you know, this is a test run. Unfortunately, um, what I do tomorrow is hopefully it'll be better. But uh, please. So yeah, that's all I can really say about this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, see you tomorrow when we'll be opening a box of friends. I, I think, I, I don't exactly remember the order that should be the order, but yeah, uh, bye.